Mm. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, guys. So we're here with Blue's dad. We're gonna start working with him. <laughs> this is the training equipment we're gonna be using today. This is a choke chain tied into a ball, which is gonna be used as a throw chain if he needs to. This is gonna be his electronic collar of sorts. And this is a prong collar. This is actually two prong collars where I've taken the links off of another one to make it long enough, I mean, big enough, the radius big enough to put around his neck, yeah? He's at 15 right now, he's a big boy. And then look, this is a six foot kitten leash, yes, for a kitten, okay? So again, very, very quickly, when we start to work with him, okay, whenever we heal with him, healing means for him, whenever you ask him to heal, it means for him to walk and maintain position here at your left-hand side. If he fails to do so, you're going to give him a very quick nip. And now let me show you a nip, okay? Okay. So this will be a nip. Man, the color's so big, right? So this will be a nip. A nip is going to be a very quick little pull on the leash. So that's like a nip. Mm -hmm. Quick nip, okay? So if you're walking with him and he fails to maintain position at your left, you're going to give him a quick nip. It is imperative, sir, that when you nip, that you maintain your momentum and keep walking. If you slow down, a smart dog like Blue is going to realize you've slowed down and he's gonna start manipulating you whenever he wants you to slow down by slowing himself down. So if you're walking and he slows down or starts to sniff something and he's not supposed to, you give him a nip, you maintain your momentum. Yes. Now, whenever you're ready to come to a stop, the first three days you're going to, ideally, as you take the last two steps, you're going to slow down 50%. And when you come to a stop, for the next three days, please be kind to him. Remind him that you need him to sit if he fails to do so because he knows he's supposed to. So if he comes to a stop and he doesn't put his butt on the ground from a, into a sit from a heel, you're going to apply constant pressure until he puts his butt on the ground. Ideally, that pressure is going to be up towards your right shoulder blade. Constant pressure, okay? Mm -hmm. Once he puts his butt on the ground, you let go of the pressure. Now, you do that for three days. That's a reminder. On the fourth day, if you come to a stop and he fails to sit, you're going to give him a nip. In that context, the nip is seen by the dog as a punishment. So the dog not failing to sit and you applying constant pressure until he sits, that's kind of like being at church and your child standing mm -hmm. and you sit and you setting your child back into the pew with a gentle hand on his shoulder. Gotcha. You coming to a stop and him not sitting and you nipping, it's kind of like you spanking the kid or pinching the kid's thigh or kicking the kid's shoe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Using some physicality, gotcha. swatting him, swatting him on the knee, something, all right? So both are appropriate with a dog, but you want to be the first three days you want to remind. Okay. And again, whenever you're moving, if you nip, it is imperative that you maintain your momentum, okay? Now the next thing is, whenever you're walking, whenever you come to a stop with Blue, because he's a kind of corso and he's a big, powerful animal, we're going to have to expect him to stay put until you touch him, tell him it's okay, or otherwise give him a release, like go bananas. Okay, so if you're walking and you come to a stop and he puts his butt on the ground and you say, good, sit. If he, if you don't touch him or ask him to heal, you're going to expect that he stays sat. And if he gets up, you're going to apply pressure the first three days to remind. And then on the fourth day, if he stands up, you can nip. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference. And again, in the act of healing where the dog is at your left hand side, the nip is not seen as a correction, but rather redirection. But when you come to a stop, if you if he fails to sit and you nip him, it's a correction. Gotcha. If you ask him to sit and he fails to sit, you have the option of reminding him by forcing him, which is what I would do with Blue because he's a baby still. Mm -hmm. He's only seven months old. He's big, huh? Mm -hmm. So because he's a baby, I don't want to dampen him. I still want him to be a guard dog. Yes. So correcting him too much is going to dampen him reminding him will never dampen him it's going to make him strong gotcha. in four days though again if he fails to sit and you want to you can nip and hell you can nip him today he loves you gotcha. i just wouldn't i'd be kind to him yes because he's still gonna i'm thinking he's gonna try really hard to listen all right so when you come to a stop if you walk away from him and he doesn't move you're going to tell him good stay okay. this first week it is important that you apply the good word theory with him where if you happen to see him sit you say good sit. If he happens to lay down, you say good down. If he happens to, he does this all the time with me. Like we'll be walking around and he'll all of a sudden, he's at my side. Okay. 
if he does that, I start flirting with him. I start telling him, good heel, good heel. And then I'll come to a stop and I'll like jostle my feet as I stop. And then he'll wiggle himself into a sit. Gotcha. And then I tell him, good sit. And then I'll pet him under the chin. Okay. So you have to look for spontaneous training. Okay. Life lessons, behavior and manners are caught off leash more, they can be, more than they can be taught on leash. Gotcha. So that is where Blue excels is that when we're hanging out off leash, there's no better dog than him right now. Gotcha. He wants to work. Now, how many, how many, how many, um, or how long, a, how many, uh, how many hours a day do I need to work on him? That's a good question. None. Okay. You just need to do minutes. Gotcha. And it's a lifestyle. So, see, that would be kind of like, like asking me, you know, how many hours a day do I need to focus on my diet? Okay. I'm supposed to be, according to my doctor, I'm supposed to be on my diet 24-7. Do gotcha. <laughs> you see what I mean? So, it's a lifestyle. So if you're going to be hanging out with Blue, but you're not going to be able to like kind of keep tabs on him a little bit mm -hmm. and use the good word theory when he does things, good things, mm -hmm. then he should be in the kennel for now. Okay. A lot of people feel like, well, I don't want to kennel my dog. Well, guess what? If you fail to kennel your dog the first year of its life, you're going to have a monster on your hands. Gotcha. I'm telling you what I would do with Blue. Okay. And Blue is the kind of dog that I would be so tempted not to kennel him because he's so good, but he would still have to get it. Gotcha. Like Savo. Savo's so good. I don't have to do anything. He didn't destroy anything. But guess what? I still have to put my dog up. Same so, thing with Blue, okay? So, so why he in training still killing him? You need to. Gotcha. Again, ideally, you're gonna, you guys are going to be coming out for classes. And what I told you is, if you come out for three classes, I'm going to credit you two days of boarding. Okay. So again, you come out to some classes, and he, he, get, he can come back for another week, and your dog is going to be on another level, and it won't cost you a penny. Gotcha. If he fails today, I'm going to ask to keep him. And now, I'm going to ask you something, okay? Do you, you've seen his videos? Yes. Do you think he's going to fail today? No. I have. Thank you for your faith. But guess what? There's a chance he might fail today. Nothing is 100%, sir. Not DNA tests, nothing. Not gold. Cranberry and I purified gold before. The best we could do is 99.999. Yeah. Let me tell you one more thing, sir. If I'm wrong, so today there is a chance he's going to fail me. This is why I told your wife, please, and she told you this, yes, mm -hmm. that if he fails, I'd like for him to stay. Yes. And I'm not going to ask for more gold. I'm not yes, going to ask for more money. Yes, sir. I just need to make it happen, yeah? Yes, sir. If, if, there, if anything in life was 100%, then... The good Lord wouldn't have sent Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted. That's true. 99.99%, yeah? Yes, so let's see what this dog's about. Good. All right, your daddy's here. Ready to go home, huh? I didn't ask him to sit, but he did it himself. Good, I'm going to touch him so he can come out. First thing we're going to do is observe to see if he realizes his daddy's here via his scent. Now, daddy's got a new car that he hasn't seen before. But look, you see how he's sniffing? So I bring him out here often so I can kind of tell. See, he knows something is up. You see? Yeah, you smell your daddy, huh? Good sit. And see, he thinks that by sitting, he's making a prayer for his daddy's presence. Okay? Good, good, good. You know what? I don't know if that's a fingerprint. Let me wipe that off. Okay, oh, well, it was on my side. All right, baby. Now watch, we're going to go see his dad. I'm not going to give him any commands. I wanted to see his natural reaction. Yes? So I'm going to let him check his P-mail first, okay? He was sniffing around and not as attentive to me. Oh, man. He remembers you too. <laughs> Hey, Bubba. I know, it's your daddy. It's your daddy. It's your daddy. So look, he feels like he won the lottery. Good sit. That's awesome. What a beautiful dog. Huh? He's a Benny bigger to Good down. Look any bigger to you? Grown, huh? Now there's the thing. Good sit. So you see how all he's doing right now, he's, this is his way of praying so that you come up to him and pet him. You see, whereas before he probably would have been lunging or barking or jumping, which he might end up doing. But look, and now he's going to look at me for me to answer that prayer. You see? He wants to go say hi to you. He missed you. Yeah. I'm, gonna let him, I'm not going to let him walk up to you yet, okay? okay. Now, I'm not going to give him any commands. I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to give him any commands because I want to make it difficult for myself. I need him to fail. If he does great today, then we don't learn a damn thing, okay? Yeah. But if he does good, and he's doing amazing right now. Keep in mind, sir, I've not given him any command. He's just whining because he's like, I miss my daddy. Good. I know, Papa. You miss him, huh? Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to touch him, and I'm going to start walking. Good heel, Papa. Now look, watch my nips, okay? Good, you good, my love. Good, you good, my love. Handsome. So look. Damn it, I was going to try to catch him off guard because he started paying attention on that truck, yeah? So watch. Hopefully he doesn't sit so I can show you the, the reinforcement. Damn it. He did it. So if he wouldn't have done it, I would have pulled up to reinforce, okay? I'm trying to get him to mess up or I'm gonna go closer to you. 
I need him to mess up. Dude, I, I've never even heard him do that before. Look at him, look at his paw at me. He's like, hey dude, that's enough of that. All right, look. Oh, he's losing his mind. So you see how I handled that? Now, if he was my dog, I probably would have checked him, but because he's not my dog, and I, you, know, you guys might want him to be a guard dog, it's not my place to punish him for jumping at me. So guard dogs, man, I, I don't like punishing dogs for jumping on me. Shit, I don't like punishing dogs for anything. Yeah, that's why I give them time, yeah? Actually, how long has Blue been with us, do you know? Uh, six, six, awesome. Six, so again, I want him to come back for at least two more stays. Each stay one week, you just gotta come out to classes. Okay. And there won't be any additional fees, yeah? We love him. So look, I'm gonna touch him. I'm gonna walk forward. Good, good, good. Hopefully he doesn't put his butt on the ground. Damn, he's good. All right. So I'm trying to show you a reminder, okay? Good down, Papa. He probably thinks I asked him to lay down. So look, I'm gonna touch him. Look. Damn, I need you to fuck up, Papa. I'm trying to show you a reminder. You know what I mean? Do you know what the reminder is, sir? Mm -hmm. Applying constant pressure upwards. Yes, and I watch. Oh, I'm gonna get to show you a nip because I'm gonna walk straight towards you. And he's probably gonna wanna go straight to your crotch, okay? Good, good, good. Look, 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 look. Oh my God. Oh, that was the first nip. And that was, and that was me being a little that was me being a little bit of an asshole nipping him there because he really not messing up that much. But damn, he turned with me right when you turned. Look. Good, good, good. Oh, that was slow as hell, but he did it, yeah? Now look how I dropped the leash. Hopefully this makes him stand up. I think this is the way we're going to get him to mess up, okay? Look, he's watching. Man, before, you know, when we first started training him, he see those people, he start barking and stuff. Well, that's what I'm telling you. He's got guard dog instincts. See, I haven't, given him, I haven't even told him that's T-A-Y, huh? I didn't give him any commands, sir. You see? Oh, look. He messed up, so look. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm still going to apply pressure. I'm not gonna let him get out of it. Now I'm gonna hold it because he got up, look. And now look. I'm trying to get him to stand up. I'm trying to check him. Now look. Handsome. Now look, I'm gonna touch and walk. See how I grabbed that leash? I didn't make it obvious, huh? I'm gonna try to turn on him. Watch, 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 watch. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. See that? Caught him off guard. Caught him slipping, yeah? Because you go that over there. Caught him slipping, look. Handsome. Good. Handsome. Easy, huh? It's on point, huh? Look what y'all said, motherfucker's good. He's real good. He's legit, dude. People love him. You know, all the ladies over there love him and stuff. He's good for the bachelor life. Good, good, good. That's why I already told his mama. Don't let, you better not be walking this dog by yourself, she said. Cause he's handsome, you're handsome. Deadly combination, sir, especially, oh, especially with that band, you're doing, oh, look at that. I can dumb out here. So now watch. No reason to bark at them. I don't even know why he's barking. But if he does it again, bam. That was a correction for being ridiculous. If he were to bark at a kid or something right now, guess what I would do in this position, sir? Yes, sir? But guess what else? I'm gonna show you what I would rather do. Let's say he started barking at somebody for whatever bad reason right now, watch what I would do. This knee would come up and be BAM! Not even hard. Just to stop him from thinking about what he's thinking. You see what I mean? Because the bite sometimes will piss a dog off. Not at you, but the dog will think that it's the other dog or the other person somehow good down. <laughs> He's awesome, huh? Handsome. All right, so you about ready to want to work him now, yes? All right, so now I'm going to show you clockwork, okay? Now watch what I'm going to do. Go bananas, love. That's his free time command. That's his command to do kind of whatever he wants to do. He doesn't have to stay at my left, but you see how I turned and I, I spun to get on his left? I'm keeping myself at his left, but he doesn't have to stay at my left. He doesn't have to SIT. If I was walking him down the road, he could walk a little bit ahead of me, whatever he wants to do. So he is choosing to do this. I tell you, he can walk ahead of me right now, okay? So I'm going to go towards you. I'm hoping that he walks ahead of me. When he goes towards you, as soon as he gets near you and he does something that I dislike, I'm going to correct him. Now let's assume that I'm at the center of a clock. No matter where I go, I'm always at the center of a clock. So right now, I'm at the center of a, what a handsome, a handsome ass dog. I don't want him to do that right now. I need him to misbehave, okay? He's doing good though, huh? He's, he, he ready to go home. He heard me out there when I said he might not go. He's like, I'm going, dude. I'm going. Now look. With this dog here, yeah? Good, 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 blue. With this dog here, I'm going to stay at the center of the clock. So right in front of me is 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock, all right? So 
as he's in front of me, all right, I'm gonna touch him, I'm gonna get him in front of me. If he does anything I don't like, like sniffs your crotch, jumps at you, I'm gonna nip at 12, nip at three, nip at six, and then nip at one final time at nine, and he's gonna put his butt down. I didn't do it that time, yeah? Even right there, where he started wanting to go crazy on the leash, he's ready to go to you. And I didn't check it because I want him to jump, I want him to misbehave, all right? So if he does something I dislike, sir, I'm gonna do these corrections. I remember what I told you before. If you do these corrections with guests that do not live in your household, he's never gonna be a guard dog for you. It is better for him to be ill-mannered when guests come over if you want him to be a guard dog. Not aggressive, just feel like he's like a bouncer, patting them down, checking them, like he was going, loading on a plane for a flight and being checked thoroughly, okay? Good, good, good. All right, so now watch what I'm, so you understand the clock correction, yes? Yeah? So for ahead of you, nip at 12, three, six, and nine. Uh, I might three, nip 12, 12, and then I'm gonna rotate. So look, through here, I would nip at 12, at three, at six, and then at nine. I might nip a few times, damn, that dog's good. I might nip a few times at 12 if he doesn't immediately start going in my direction. Okay. Oh. And I'm rotating clockwise, sir. So you went counterclockwise that time. Gotcha. So you went clockwise the other way. No, the other way, sir, the other way. Bam, there you go, this way, keep turning. Three, six, so 12 is right here in front of you, and then three would be turn to your right. Then you are going the right direction. I'm, I'm, I'm messed yeah. up. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do, sir, okay? So look, I'm gonna touch him. He's on the free command, so he can be doing whatever he wants to do, yeah? So look, please don't pet him yet. Oh man, that dog's doing good. So look, good. All right, so look, I don't like that pawing. I'm gonna just assume, we're just gonna say you don't like that pawing, yeah? Look. So if I, so it's up, again, it's up to you whether you like that pawing or not, right? I imagine you guys worked on shake or something. Yeah. That's why he does that, yeah? That's why I always tell people, don't work on shake with your puppy because it'll create that behavior. So punishing for it is kind of shitty on my part, but oh well, all right? You just ignore that behavior and it'll go away. Unless you love it. If you love it, I love it too. Gotcha. It don't bother me, yeah? So look, I'm gonna touch him and do it again, sir. So this time I'm picking my battles, yeah? But look, mm -hmm. look at the difference. Man, I tell you, I've never done that with your boy before. Gotcha. That is a straight up punishment, sir. So right now, I punished the hell out of him for pawing at you. And look how he handled like a champ, huh? He, he loves you, man, he misses you. He wants to jump at you so bad, yeah? But damn, you're a lot taller than me, man. You're a lot taller than me. Good damn, my love. You ready to handle your boy? Yeah. So you see what you're gonna wanna do? Yeah, the kids come over, man. Have the kids go outside, stand with the kids. Walk them out there, don't make them heal. Let them go in front of you. And boom, 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 do that. Do your clock work if you need to. Gotcha. The other thing, sir, is you can toss the chain near his feet if you don't have the leash on it. Gotcha. See what I mean? Yes. You about ready to handle your dog? Yep. All right, grab him and, and I want you to stand with him at your left. Don't make him do, oh, beautiful, sir. Don't make him do anything. Beautiful, sir. Now, if he jumps at you or paws at you, apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure. And I would have nipped him there for that inappropriate sniff, but you're doing good, all right? And another inappropriate sniff and nip him, yeah? Gotcha. Now, hold your ground for a second. Now I want you to touch him and start, and, or tell him to heal and start to walk, please. Start walking, heal, yeah. start to move. Nip him, nip him, nip him, nip him, good. Keep walking, oh, keep on. So remember what I said, whenever you nip him for not walking with you properly, don't stop. Cause see right there, he was about to sit for you. Gotcha. You see what I mean? And he's gonna walk at your pace. Speed up a little bit, please. You're doing good, nip him, nip him. Good job, sir, good timing. Come towards me, please, sir. Slow down. Now start to slow down a little bit slower and you're gonna come to a stop. And if he doesn't go into the SIT, you're gonna remind. By apply, slow down and come to a stop now. Come to a stop. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, so you were a little, he did it slow, but he was doing it, okay? Yes. So if you do things like that with a corso, especially like him, he can get emotional and think you're being unfair. Gotcha. Because he was doing it, it was just slow as hell, huh? Gotcha. Remember, so you gotta watch out for that because he's kind of sometimes slow, man. Yeah, he's a big boy, okay? Now, I want you to, Keep the leash where, you're, where, you're, where you have it. Extend your leash out above his head, please. But th there you go. And now walk a circle around him, clockwise, no, counterclockwise, around him this way. If he stands up, you're going to apply pressure. Apply pressure, sir. Keep walking. Now you're gonna do that again. And if he stands up, you're going to apply pressure at, perfect, sir. Beautiful. And you know what I really love about that time? You didn't stop moving. Step into him now, please. So let me, no, step into him now with him at your left. Perfect, reset, perfect. This is a reset position now, yes? You know what? Man, you did that amazingly well. So the second time that you did that, you didn't stop. If when, you, if when you walk around your dog, or when you're doing a stay with your dog, if your dog gets up, if you stop moving, your dog is going to realize he has a power over you. And whenever he wants you to stop moving, he'll stand up because he knows he's basically playing musical chairs with you. You see what I mean? So you can't allow it to happen. You have to be on it. If he gets up, ideally in a perfect world, you just pull up as you keep that movement going, yeah? Man, you did a great job there. Now, touch him and start to walk towards me, please. Good, good, good. Perfect, turn left on him. Beautiful, beautiful. Nip again, turn left. 
See, I'm trying to get him on that grass where he's interested in sniffing that grass. Speed up a little bit, please, sir. Good, good, good. Now turn left towards me, please. Turn right, sharp. Beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come towards me, please. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna stop right over here, please. There you go, start to slow down. Come to a stop. Tell him that's IT. Sit. Good sit, and you can say it calmly. Good job. Extend your leash all the way out, sir, please. Without seat, now see how he just paid. So these were the things I yell at Cranberry about. You see how much attention the dog just, you'll see it in the video. Mm -hmm. You made a lot of movement with that leash, so now he's aware of it, okay? Which is okay. Drop all of it except for the end, except for the loop, except for the end. There you go. Now, don't drop it. Extend yourself out, and if he stands up, you're going to apply pressure. Don't drop it. There you go. No, see, stand, apply pressure. There you go, good. So look, get ready, be ready. Okay, let it go now. So see, what I would have done is I would have expected him to get up the second time, and I would have cl clinched it in cl closer. Walk around him in a circle, please. Now, if he stands up, you're going to call, man, he's doing amazing, though. All right. Come back to him, sir, please. Step into him. Right next to him, stop. Pause for three seconds. Now step, go in a tight circle around him. If he stands up, you're gonna grab that leash. Perfect, sir. We want him to mess up. And you're doing that beautifully. Stand right next to him, sir. Pause for three seconds. Walk around him in a circle again. Tight circle again. Shit, you're on point, man. Pause for a few seconds. Pet him with your right hand under his chin and then with your left hand, grab the leash near the clasp. Damn! You're doing it. You're making it look easy, man. That's the beauty. Oh my God, beautiful. Now, you see the mistake I'm about to pull out? Mm -hmm. See how you started messing with that leash maybe at the wrong time because now he's looking at that leash? Mm -hmm. You want to be like a magician where, the, where you want to make it seem as if that leash isn't even there. Gotcha. You see what I mean? So try your best to move the leash whenever he's not paying attention. Like look right now, move, fiddle with the leash a little bit without, look, no, he's unaware of it. So do you see the, yeah, there you go, sir. So you see the benefits to what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. Wait for him to be otherwise distracted to get, to reposition your leash. Gotcha. Otherwise he's like, man, that leash is Samson's hair. And if we cut Samson's hair, he loses his power. So he might use those teeth to cut that leash and then you lose your power. Gotcha. May I tell you, if I'm out in public with him or I'm walking with him, if that leash falls off or deteriorates or breaks, I have the power still. He's gonna listen to me. He's gonna, he's not even gonna realize it. Gotcha. You have that power too, yes? You're the operant power, yes? Final thing, sir. You're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna swipe his left shoulder blade and you're gonna say, go bananas, okay? And I'll, go ahead. Go bananas. <laughs> awesome. That's about bananas he's gonna get right now. But now he's allowed to walk kind of however he wants. But in this, in this go bananas leisure walk, it's a loose leash walk. If he wants to walk ahead of you, allow it. I would personally, if I were you and your wife, try to keep him on my left-hand side by not by asking him, but by me, moving myself to his left during go banana walks, okay? Yeah. So start to walk this way and see if you understand the principle. He can, however he wants to walk, yes sir? He's just gonna be a good boy. He's just gonna kind of stick close to you, but look right now he can go. So see this, wholly acceptable. Trick question, okay? If you were performing a heel right now, hell no, this is not allowed. But right now, this is a leisure, go bananas, check in his P mail. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yes, sir. He's going bananas. By the bananas, he's going to go right now, yeah? He's excited. But do you see what I'm talking about, sir? Okay? Let's see if he'll go potty for us here. And then if not, I'm going to take him in the back so he'll go potty for sure because we got a little bit of a drive. And then I want to follow up at your home with your wife, but I want the whole family to be there, weather permitting, and all that good stuff. Do you have any questions about any of that, sir? All right, man. You handled him like a champion. Yeah? Good, 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 good. Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Paw the bell so you'll be notified the next time we're feeling a little blue and he comes back for classes and his next boarding stay. I'd like for him to come back twice more for one week. There won't be any additional fees. I just love this dog. I want to train him. I want to show you all what's up, yeah? Bless you all. Good, 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 good. So be angry, but sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. But when they do it, they are intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in Scripture, I'll spew you out. Would that you're either hot or cold, but because that you are lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't do anything if you're lukewarm. You must be intense about it. No matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. Now let us go into the silence.